Hey, I hope you had a great weekend. Um, so I've been asked if not once, at least 10 times this week, what my thoughts are about Jamaica and what our U.S. government has put into place as far as protocols go. Well, not protocols, but warnings. So let me start with saying that our government has a system that is they rank different countries on a level one, two, three, or four, with four being do not travel. One is the safest. Very, 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 very few countries are ranked as a level one. The majority of the world is ranked as a level two. Once you get into a level three, you do need to kind of pause a little bit and kind of read the warnings that our government has issued. Once you get to a level four, I just don't go there. Um, granted, I always take the time to read the warnings that they have, if it's somewhere that I really want to go. Um, that being said, okay, so the government came out this week with new, not this week, was it this week? Anyhow, recently with these new warnings about Jamaica. They raised them from a level two to a level three based on the fact that the healthcare is bad there. Duh, it's a third world country. And also based upon crime rate. Duh, they have a drug problem there much like Mexico and any other third world country. So that being said, if you actually go to travel.state.gov and then you go to international travel and then you search for Jamaica and you read what they had to say, it's a very well-defined region that they are saying don't travel there. And it's not a level four yet where they're saying don't go there at all. It's just like a warning. So about a year ago, less than a year ago, they the U.S. government did the same thing where they raised Jamaica from a level two to a level three. At that same point, I was heading there as a solo female traveler to do a couple of site inspections with another female traveler. She and I did not travel together. We met up there. We went from the airport to our all-inclusive resort and met up there. Never did I, once did I feel in danger. She did not either. And it was a level three then. Again, it was a well-defined region, much like they have right now. And I had done my research enough to know, okay, let me look at a map. Let me see where these well-defined regions are and if I am going to be accidentally stumbling into these. And of course it was not. So I felt completely fine going by myself. That being said, they've done the same thing this time. They have got a well-defined area and they are not the tourist areas. So if somebody said tomorrow, Stephanie, hey, you can go to Jamaica for free, no charge. I'd be like, I'm on, let's go. So just got my passport renewed, so I'd be ready to go. I would not hesitate. That being said, if you are hesitant and you do want to go to Jamaica, I strongly encourage you to get insurance that has cancel for any reason option. Why cancel for any reason option? Well, the reason for that is because insurance will not cover you. If you have insurance, it will not cover you just to cancel because you don't want to go or you're scared to go. There are certain clauses and protocols that they have in place where you have to follow that to get reimbursed for your trip. So you need to cancel for any reason because insurance will not cover you just because you're scared or uncomfortable to go there. So that being said, if you're ready to book something for Jamaica, let's book it. But let's make sure that you have cancel for any reason insurance on there. I would go in a heartbeat tomorrow. I'm going to reference an article in this newsletter that if you look at the link below, you're going to see, go read it. It's like a one and a half minute read. And it's going to tell you that there were over 3 million U.S. visitors that went to Jamaica last year with a 0.01% um, crime rate. So I was trying to think of the word crime rate. So only 0.01%. 1% people were impacted by these reasons that our government is calling out these warnings all of a sudden. So I don't know what that's about. Part of me believes that it's because that the U.S. government has people on the ground over there that they wander off into the non-touristy districts. And so they have to warn them and then they have to publish it on their site. I don't know. Um, that's not my specialty. So I don't know. Um, but that's just kind of my thought process. But would I go? Yeah. Am I uncomfortable sending my clients? No, I'm not uncomfortable sending my clients because I would go myself. So I would never send my clients anywhere that I wouldn't go myself. Um, so anyhow, if you have any questions, check out this article. The reason they issued 
this warning is because of healthcare again, duh, third world country. And also your U S insurance is not going to cover you outside of the country, unless you have some kind of major medical, major, great, great, great insurance, which most of us do not Medicare and Medicaid do not cover outside the U S and also because of drug crime, that kind of stuff, which if you're not wandering off the beaten path, if you're staying in the touristy areas, you don't have to worry about that. If you're in Chicago, New York, New Orleans, you're going to stay in the touristy areas. You're not going to wander down to these crazy areas that are unsafe. So even in Tuscaloosa, Alabama, we have certain areas in town that I will not wander off to at certain times of the day because they're just not safe. It's the same way across the world. So no, I am not scared about Jamaica, but that is a personal decision for you. If you're going to go and you're a little iffy about it, be sure that you have cancel for any reason insurance. So if y'all have any questions, give me a call and I'll be happy to talk to you about it. It's 205-393-1236. Talk to y'all later.